Welcome back to our board recaps. This is Jeff Craig, superintendent for the West Aurora Schools. Today we'll be talking about our one and only board meeting in December of 2022, and then our both board meetings in January of 2023. So let's begin with our December 12, 2022 board meeting. We began with the notice of public hearing regarding the proposed property tax levy increase. The board opened the public hearing and there were no public comments regarding the proposed property tax levy. The board approved and authorized the amount stated on the attached certificate of tax levy and adopted the resolution authorizing and directing the tax levy during the action portion of the meeting. Then we moved into the information portion. The second elementary group, including Mrs. Jana Ring, principal of Freeman, and Jen Bernal, principal of Nicholson Elementary Schools, presented to discuss specials in elementary school. During their presentation, they touched on the three district commitments, which are dialogue, challenge, and learners, and tied these back to the specials that are offered at the elementary level. There were some proposed board policy manual updates to align with changes proposed by Illinois Association of School Boards through press. Mr. Ryan Abrahamson discussed the driver's education waivers, which were then presented during a public hearing during the January 9 meeting. Mrs. Ana Gonzalez, our Director of Community Affairs, updated the board on several upcoming events, including the winter concerts and the sold out Madrigal Dinner at the high school. In our discussion portion, Dr. Angela Smith, our Assistant Superintendent of Operations and Pat Dacey, Capital Projects Manager, presented an overview of upcoming projects at West High. Two letters of recommendation were also presented for the West High Geothermal Projects. In action items, the board approved the recommendation that the contract for the geothermal conversion testing and balancing project be awarded to Mechanical Test and Balance, Inc. for a total contract amount of $43,000. The board approved the recommendation that the contract for the 2023 West High geothermal conversion for AC and D-Wing project be awarded to Light Construction for a total contract amount of $6,394,700. The board approved all three resolutions abating a portion of the taxes levied for the year 2022 to pay debt service on the taxable general obligation bonds for Series 2015A, which is our Qualified Energy Conservation Bonds, and Series 2016 Qualified School Construction Bonds, and 2017C, our Qualified School Construction Bonds. Now moving to January 9, 2023, we had a notice of public hearing regarding two driver education waivers. The board opened the meeting to hear public comments regarding two driver's education waivers that the district applied for. One waiver requested the ability to use classroom simulators in lieu of three hours of behind the wheel instruction, and the other waiver requests to set the fee for driver education at an amount not to exceed $350. There were no comments and the hearing was closed. Both of the waivers were subsequently approved by the board during the action portion of this meeting. Moving into the information items, the third elementary group presented on the topic focus groups. Principals Mr. Daniel Ulrich, Dr. Pete Claybo, and Ms. Linning of McCleary, Smith, and Hall respectively discussed how focus groups are used to explore specific topics related to school improvement and begin discussions. They presented the board with a mock topic to discuss New Year's resolutions. This allowed them to demonstrate how leading questions help groups dive deeper and get to know about others' perspectives. Dr. Michael Smith, Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources, presented the draft calendar for the 2023-2024 school year. As in past, a calendar committee reviews key dates and timelines to propose a best case scenario for student attendance ba days balanced with school improvement, teacher institute, and district-wide holidays. The calendar was approved by the board during the January 23 meeting. Mrs. Ana Gonzalez, Director of Community Affairs, presented the Community Affairs Update, which highlighted various events to celebrate Martin Luther King Day and West High's College and Career Wellness Fair. In discussion items, Dr. Angie Smith, our Assistant Superintendent of Operations, and Mr. Pat Callahan from Studio GC presented the letter of recommendation for the summer of 2023 roofing projects. The contract was recommended to be awarded to Malcor Roofing, Inc. They also presented the letter of recommendation for the 2023 door replacements. The recommendation was that the contract be awarded to Light Construction, Inc. 
Both of these recommendations were then approved by the board during the action portion of the January 23, 2023 meeting. In action items, besides the two driver education waivers that were previously mentioned, the following items were also approved. The board approved the recommendation that the contract for the Jewel Middle School HVAC Improvements Project number 22051 be awarded to Commercial Mechanical Inc. The base bid plus alternate number 1A was accepted for a total contract amount of $3,008,000. The board approved the recommendation that the contract for the Jewel Middle School HVAC Improvements Test and Balance Project number 22051B be awarded to Mechanical Test and Balance Inc. The base bid plus alternate number 1A was accepted for a total contract amount of $22,200. And now we move to the January 23 of 2023 board meeting. In our recognitions, the board recognized Michael Tovery, our lead custodial engineer at Greenman Elementary. Mr. Tovery performed the Heimlich maneuver on a student in the lunchroom. We're very proud of him for doing that. In information, Dr. Valerie McCall, our Director of Educational Equity, presented an update on what her department is working on as it relates to equity. Dr. McCall highlighted some recent events, including an upcoming professional learning opportunity presented by Dr. Tyrone Howard on January 25th. She also asked Dr. Lori Klamhaus, our Principal of the Early Learning Academy, to discuss the equity journey occurring in her building. The board has some homework to do as they look to put together the district's equity statement. Also, Mrs. Liz Wendell, our Executive Director of Secondary Teaching and Learning, introduced to the board the proposed resource adoptions for the upcoming secondary classes. There are three main areas needing updated resources, which include middle school math, AP government, and AP world history. The sample text will be on display at the district office until approved. In action items, the board approved the recommendation that the contract for the summer of 2023 roofing improvements, project number 22069, be awarded to Malcor Roofing of Illinois, Inc. The base bid plus alternates number one and two were accepted for a total contract amount of $3,235,375. The board approved the recommendation that the contract for the 2023 door replacement project number 22097 be awarded to Light Construction for a total contract amount of $181,700. And that's it for our school board recap for December and January. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time.